Hi, and welcome to the newest meeting of uh, the Sketchbook Club. This week, um, I'm beginning to talk to you here in my, well, my bathroom. And I'm talking to you about it because I have a lot of art in my house and in my bathroom. But when I sit here in the particular place that I'm sitting right now, every day I get to look at this. This is a drawing by my good friend Tommy Kane of a corner bodega. And he gave me this in this beautiful frame and uh, I get to look at it on a regular basis. Now, I'm fortunate because that's not the only piece of Tommy Kane art that I have. Um, let's go around here and I'll show you. Here I'm in, in my other sort of study and uh, there is an early Tommy Kane painting of the Lone Ranger, which is pretty cool, huh? Tommy just had a big show um, of his work in Brooklyn and this piece did, was not in the show because I own it and uh, I love this painting and it's really, really cool. So anyway, let me show you around something else. Um, that's a Melanie Ream drawing there. Um, but that's a Jack T. Gregory painting. I also want to show you another great Tommy Kane drawing of Psy Gungam style that we have in our living room. So today my subject is Tommy Kane. So let's go into, oh, I have one other thing I want to show you. Hold on one second. So this is my, uh, one of my archives of sketchbooks, but I'm lucky enough to have this one, which is a Tommy Kane one. So let's take, let's take that over and uh, have a look at it at the table one second. So here I am in my kitchen now, and I want to talk to you about what I know about Tommy Kane. So I've known Tommy for over 30 years. Tommy uh, and I worked together in an ad agency called Gear de Bois that doesn't exist anymore. And we were partners. I was a copywriter, he was an art director. And we worked together on, on uh, Brown and Williamson Tobacco. We worked on Life Magazine. Um, we worked on some financial stuff. We worked on different things, but we became really good friends. Uh, in fact, here's a here's a here's a page from uh, my scrapbook of the time, and here's Tommy when he still had hair um, at one of the parties at our house. In let me zoom in on this and show it to you more. So you can appreciate this valuable document. There he is, the handsome devil. So that's. Tommy in 1986, probably, 85 maybe. So anyway, so Tommy was an art director and um, then in the mid 90s, Tommy went from painting paintings like that one I showed you of the Lone Ranger to working in a sketchbook. And so he and I had that in common among many other things. And we were, uh, you know, we would go out and sit and draw and make, um, fill our sketchbook pages. And Tommy is a very dedicated artist. When he starts working on something, he really, really works on it. And he made a lot of rules for himself when he worked in a sketchbook, and they helped him to make many, many beautiful pages. Um, for those of you who have taken beginning at sketchbook school, you'll know some of the rules that he makes. And one of them is that he never removes a page from his sketchbook, and that he works on every sketchbook page until it's completely filled and he works from edge to edge in his books. So as a result, he has fantastic pages. So um, let me show you this little uh, example. This is, this is a very early sketchbook. So what he was doing at this point was he was drawing things from his job. He 
he was working um, doing he did a lot of uh, ads for Steve Madden shoes and these were drawings that he did of models from different modeling um, sort of assignments for his photography so he would bring in these models and he would draw them so this sketchbook is full of that it's just one theme many 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 beautiful girls uh, and here's some of the pictures that were from those sessions as well so and there's Tommy at the time so that's this little tiny book little yellow moleskin book eventually Tommy came out with this book which is called an excuse to draw and um, let me just zoom out and show that to you so this book came out in 2014 and it is a collection of his sketchbook pages a lot of them to do with travel but you can see here's all the covers of them there's Tommy drawing he has drawings in here by other people as well of him and things that are of interest to him but you know so a lot of travel stuff like these are all just pages of airplanes and different locations that he went to just gorgeous pictures he's really really a great great artist a great sketchbook keeper and as you can see every page is so detailed and filled always edge to edge beautiful watercolors and colored pencils and pen. He usually works with a uniball pen, or at least he did for many years. He's kind of switched things up a little bit recently, but he um, developed a very specific way of working, which is this, this process of combining line drawings with watercolors here in Korea and China. He traveled all over the world. He did a lot of advertising for Samsung, and as a result, he went to Far East quite often. Uh, his wife Yoon was actually born in Korea as well, so he has a connection to the country and um, has visited there many times. So this book, mainly about travel, as I said, traveling, and it's a, it's an amazing book. I mean, it's, I, I hope you already own a copy of it, but it's called An Excuse to Draw. It came out in 2014. Here's what's exciting. It's 2017 and this just came out. It is called All My Photographs Are Made With Pens. My birthday was last month and I got one of the very first copies of this as this amazing, amazing um, book. So the, this book is different from An Excuse to Draw in a sense. It's full of his drawings, but it has a different structure because what this book is about is about how Tommy sees the world through his sketchbook the way that other people might see it through cameras. And, you know, he uses his pen the way a photographer would use a camera. And Tommy's worked with many of the greatest photographers, uh, commercial photographers in New York, and he knows an awful lot about photography. So here we see uh, some of these drawings where he's really talking about his art supplies as if they were photographic equipment. He calls these my photo albums, but of course they're actually his sketchbook. So that's, and this is his, my camera, and it's actually the anatomy of a Uniball pen. So the book is broken down by the subjects as if it was a photographic monograph. So it's a really interesting way so of, of talking about his life and his craft using this metaphor. So he's actually worked with many of these photographers and here are pages from his sketchbooks describing these different photographers that he's worked with um, and how what it is like to work with them, photographic equipment, models. These are some of the pages that I just showed you from, from this original little moleskin I, that I own. He actually has them in the book as well. So if you can, you can own them too. And just great. And then this is a section called My Wildlife Photography. My Wildlife Photography there. And so what he's doing here is he is, he, Tommy is, uh, loves animals and he is a vegan. 
and that is in part because of his belief that animals' lives deserve the same protection that ours do. And so there's just so many styles. And look at how beautifully these are presented also. He has photographs done of the books on different surfaces, and it's just such a broad range. And you can see, even in the three years since An Excuse to Draw, how his work has developed. I mean, those travel drawings are gorgeous, but these, the way that he's developed in terms of animal painting is amazing. This is actually one of his large-scale canvases, and that's one of his cats. So just so many different gorgeous animal drawings, paintings, again, from his series of paintings. He hasn't done one of these large-scale paintings in a while, but you know, he's certainly got a good excuse because he's drawing even kind of fantasy ginseng animals that he's created here. And then veganism, which means a great deal to him. And he's done a lot of kind of drawings that he posts on social media really to explain to people the, the, the calamitous effect that eating meat can have on the environment and on people and on morality. So lots of great stuff there. He's also making ceramics now. And these are drawings that are done on ceramic things. Here are drawings of museums, both in and out. Um, I've actually been with him on doing when he did many of these drawings. I think I was sitting next to him when he drew this, and when he drew that, and actually when he drew this as well. So um, lots of good memories in here. And here are vehicles, a whole section just of photography of vehicles. But they're actually, of course, drawings. Even the effects of vehicles, like these crushed cans or these roadkill. And now flying. As I said, Tommy did a lot of traveling, but even he has his Mighty Mouse painting, his Mighty Mouse flies past the Chrysler building. So, and some more travel stuff that wasn't in his other book. Gorgeous, gorgeous things. And any, you know, good photographer covers all these different subjects. He drew that when we were, he was visiting us in L.A. Actually, all these drawings are from L.A. We drew this together, too. Well, he did the drawing. I drew a different picture that wasn't nearly as good, but uh, Washington Square Arch. And here he is having his eyes checked. It's really, it's such a great organizational structure for this book. Human beings, you know, of course, pictures of people, a lot of beach drawings he did um, in, in, on the beaches of uh, the Jersey Shore by his parents' house. Love that. And then just portraits of friends. That's actually my son Jack. That's me. But all of our friends drawn and captured here, his dad, friend lip. Um, I'm going to move quickly through this book because it's nice and thick. There's so much stuff in it. It's kind of staggering. And you should get your own copy immediately and study it carefully yourself. And look at this. I love this. This is a typical thing that you'll see with photographers. You know, contact sheet and then circling one particular drawing. I mean, or photograph. Still life, so another another category of photography, still lifes, and that's his still life drawings of objects, flowers, furniture, coffee cups, all kinds of stuff. This guy can draw anything, and he does. Those of you who have taken beginning at sketchbook school, you recognize this gorgeous drawing. He did this in his demo on how to draw really detailed pictures. And each of these drawings, they're so elaborate, they take him many hours. They take as long as they look like they take. Um, and look at this. I think this is a single sketchbook that has just objects done like this. It's a great exercise for anybody to do. Just take objects and study them and draw them. Bicycles and fantasy bicycles, weird bicycles with bits missing that he uses imagination to embellish. Tommy has incredible imagination and sense of humor. And there's jokes galore in this book. So many things. This is on movies. So going on shoots 
and uh, this is a, a relative of his who was in a movie playing a monster, and uh, he did some drawings of him, and then he did this series in the last couple of years of what he calls double exposures. So this is combining two different drawings into one done with different pens. An amazing technique, really dramatic. And here's just a random assemblage of other beautiful pages that may not fit into any category. But here's what I love also about this book. Again, for those of you who are, who are sketchbook school students, you'll remember Tommy Keene in his class asked people to draw him. And he ended up building a website of just drawings that people had done of him. And many of these are sketchbook school students. And you'll see all of these incredible pictures drawn here. Thousands of pictures of the same thing, Tommy Kane. Really great idea, beautiful kind of way to collaborate with other people. And here's a list of all the people who uh, participated in this collaboration. And there's the man himself, bearded as he often is, bald as he always is, uh, drawings of him in different places, and then um, his little logo, the squirrel. So, I rushed through this book. It's amazing. There's so much to see in here. You can get your own copy. You can follow Tommy on Instagram to see the new drawings that he's doing. Um, you know, he's a fantastic inspiration to me on so many levels. One, I love his drawings. Two, I love his approach to making art. You know, he's so hardworking. He has dedicated himself so much to it. And you can see in this book, you can see how he has evolved. Working as he has for at least 10 years now in his sketchbook has brought him to a level of mastery that doesn't come from talent alone, doesn't come from skills alone. It comes from working every day in your sketchbook. If you want to see where you could be with your drawings, look to Tommy Kane. I do. You know, I don't, I don't pretend to be at his level, but I am always inspired by it. And I see how just hard work and also setting yourself rules, parameters, but also being open-minded and experimenting with things can take you to amazing creative places. Um, I'm really proud of him from creating both of these books. I strongly recommend them for your library. Tommy Kane, check him out if you haven't already and uh, enjoy his work because it's, it's voluminous, prodigious, and uh, inspirational. Thanks for joining me again for Sketchbook Club. It's always fun to look at the books in my library, particularly as they grow with copies from my friends. So thanks for joining me and uh, get out there and start drawing and getting inspired yourself. Bye-bye.